reacting to the various treatment options that your doctor tries to work to recover. And of course, uh, needless to say, it may even lead to the liver failure and or ultimate liver cancer. But lots of uh, anatomy physiology details out there, uh, we are just uh, not even scratching the surface here. So when we talk about hepatitis, we can have a hepatitis B, hepatitis C. So acute chronic, there can be overlap but just different ways to present these things. So one way to do is you can have a chronic hepatitis and that is due to various reasons. You could have a viral disease, hepatitis B or hepatitis C. You could have autoimmune hepatitis, right? which basically means the cause is unknown. Drug or <clears throat> toxin induced called toxic hepatitis. And of course, when you drink too much alcohol, it leads to alcoholic hepatitis. Although some literature, they say that it is not strictly a form of chronic hepatitis. Bottom line, we do suffer. And unfortunate part is this, that if you have alcoholic hepatitis that doctor labels you, then if you start drinking, it won't help. Why is that? Because it takes 10, 15, 20 years before you develop the he alcoholic hepatitis. So then there is no point, the damage is already done. So if you then start to drink, it won't help you. Because severe damage is already done. So the point is better not drink to begin with or if you have to, you drink in moderation but be ready for the consequences. So there, is, there are various things in the hepatitis. It could be hepatitis A and E. Any hepatitis, whenever just in general, hepatitis A, B, C, D, E, any hepatitis you see, that could be triggered by the virus, virus A, virus B, virus C, virus D, virus E, okay? In general, just to give you an overview or the idea about when you are dealing with or when you hear from your potential or existing customer about these details. So A and E are inflammatory responses triggered by A or E viruses respectively. B is caused by B virus and is also called serum hepatitis. Uh, it could be triggered by body fluids like a tears or saliva or semen. Hepatitis C is, as I was saying before, is caused by hepatitis C virus. What is unique about hepatitis D virus? That someone has hepatitis B and then that person may end up having hepatitis D. So hepatitis D is caused by hepatitis D virus, but it can prop propagate only in the presence of hepatitis B virus. And for those of you who are the underwriters, unfortunately, or even for our uh, friend partners, hepatitis B generally you will see across the industry would be unfortunate decline. So we've been talking about the liver, so let's take a look at one more view of our biliary system. So this is what you see in red is the liver. You have a right hepatic duct, you have a left hepatic duct, pancreas, gallbladder, these different ducts ultimately goes down, common bile duct, pancreatic duct, leads to the ultimately duodenum. So basically this slide says the same thing so I'm not going to repeat. But the reason I brought that slide again before so that we can understand about the gallstones. So as we know that bile is critical but sometimes what happens we hear about someone in the family I ended up having a gallstones or things like that. So, goldstone is what? Goldstone is actually the heart collection of the bile that can form in the gallbladder. 
So you could have two things, inflammation of the gallbladder and there is a medical term for that called cholecystitis. Remember, itis means inflammation. Or you saw the, in the previous slides there are various ducts out there. So there could be inflammation of the bile ducts. So that is called cholangitis. Right? So let me show you the picture that will make you feel better. So these are the gold stones you could see they are all out there in the cold bladder and all these various ducts out there whether it's a bind duct, cystic duct, pancreatic duct, different ducts out there but you see in some of these ducts the gold stones are there. So then when these things happens then you feel the pain. Yet another view of liver, different ducts, 